In this video, I will be providing you with a little more information about a type of repair that you might need to do on your stairway. And this is probably going to be a set of stairs that is going into a basement on older homes, like a home that would have never had a building permit or had a building inspector. Or in other words, this type of connection right here between a stair stringer and a rim joist or your floor framing, even though it might work and you you might not ever have a problem with it. It looks unsafe and I will be providing you with a couple of things you could do to add a little structural strength to it. Now the common method for attaching the stringer to the floor joist is going to be by toe nailing it or nailing at an angle on both sides of the stair stringer. And the same would hold true for the other stringers. So let's go ahead and start with my first repair suggestion, and that would be to add a support board. And those support boards can be attached to the stringer and even the wall with some type of a framing anchor or even a strap might work. So if we're going to be attaching something to a wall, we can probably use some nails, some screws, or even some adhesive. However, if we need to anchor one of the support boards we might need to use some type of building hardware that can be fastened to the floor and to the post or you can use a piece of treated lumber if it's going on top of concrete or construction standard lumber if it isn't if it's going to be attaching to wood framing and that will allow you to use nails screws or other types of fasteners to connect the support post to the bottom plate and i also wanted to point out that you don't need need to position these support boards at the very top. You can reposition them to any spot you think will work best or even add more than one of these support boards. And for those of you worrying about construction standard lumber sitting on top of concrete, then you could always use a piece of treated lumber for the support brace. And if you think there might be plumbing or electrical inside of the wall, then you might want to use something else besides nails or screws to attach this board to your wall framing. Whatever you do, just don't start driving nails or screws into a board like this if you don't know what's inside of the wall. And sometimes you might be able to get away with just using some type of construction adhesive. And then inspect this area regularly to make sure that this board has not separated from the wall. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at our hanger method. And I really like this idea here. However, if you don't, then I would suggest cutting off the end of the stringer so that it is even with the back of the floor joist so that you can put a strap on it. Another method that you might be happy with, and now would be a good time to mention that the person who inspired this video was worried about the nails splitting the wood because the wood is old and dry. And they have a good point. And if that's the case, you might want to pre-drill your holes or stagger your nailing. For example, you could put this nail in here and then maybe this nail over here and then this one over here or this one and this one. But don't worry. Let's just say that you put the strap in and you split your lumber and you're thinking to yourself, why did I even listen to this guy? Well, don't worry because I have one more suggestion and that would be to attach a new piece of lumber to the stringer. And you can use whatever fasteners you think will work best. And for a situation where I'd be worried about the wood cracking or splitting. You might want to drill a hole and use some bolts. However, if you are not, then go ahead and use some screws or even nails if you think that's going to work out. And hopefully by now you have a pretty good idea how to make this type of a repair. And don't forget that these are only repair suggestions. And you might have a situation where you might need to get a professional involved like an engineer, especially if you have a situation where there is already structural failure.